Abracadabra. Hi guys, it's Vasi and welcome to another video. Today I decided to take you on this both mental and physical journey of fitting all those things into my tiny little luggage and also give you my best tips. And today is actually Tuesday and my flight is on Saturday but last time that I traveled was in the beginning of March because of uh, Miss Coronavirus! Let me tell you a little bit more about my travel. I'll be going to Greece for more than one month and I'm so freaking excited about it. It's gonna be finally some summer because you can see now it's kind of summer in London but not really because it's uh, July and as you can see I'm still wearing a sweater so it doesn't really count. It's so funny watching this because while I was filming it my flight got cancelled. Amazing. And guys, let me know if you're actually interested of seeing like how is uh, tourism in Greece or how it's life, how expensive it is. I would love to make those videos for you. And as you can imagine, for this travel, I need a lot of summer clothes and pretty much that's it. Some shoes, which is actually my biggest problem because I always want to have different shoes for every outfit. but. We'll see how we'll get there. And my tip number one is actually to make a list of the things that you want to bring. Especially because the times when I think, oh, and don't forget this, I'm either like traveling or I'm somewhere just not home. For this traveling, I have on my list not to forget sunscreen and not to forget the glasses for swimming. This is a very long list for the things that you think you will need for one month. Good job. And here are they, literally the first things that I will put. My tip number two is to divide your clothes into two categories. First one, must clothes, and a second, maybe. Into your must clothes go the only the ones that you're 100% sure that you will wear it and nothing more. A second one, ones which you will put only if you have some extra space. Here are the ones that I'll be taking for sure. Yoga clothes, I have one bottom and two tops. Basic t-shirts just to go to the beach. Six of them, two skirts and one pair of short shorts. One pair of jeans. Tops, which are more like to go out in the evening or to go out like during the day, but not as casual. Long skirts, sweater just in case. Five short dresses, long dresses, the underwear then scarves and two, three, four pairs of swimwear. The latex pants, which I actually really like. Oh my God, what's wrong with your voice there? You sound like a robot. <laughs> Let's hear this again. I actually really like. And then here are the shirts that I won't be taking. Number three, think about the outfits that you want to wear instead of just bringing random clothes and thinking oh i will figure it out later it will be also way easier to choose your clothes during the holiday don't pack things that will be already in the hotel or at the airbnb for example i'm not packing a towel because i'm sure there will be one it will just save you so much space enough talking let's try and put everything in the luggage and i will also be bringing this backpack and another thing I always do is actually to put things into bags and these are just bags from shoes that I have especially for the underwear you don't want after that to have it dirty sitting around your clean clothes take a second and appreciate how cute this swimwear is I literally can't wait to wear it because it's also the only new thing that I bought this summer here is all my underwear and I'm gonna put it on the bottom of the suitcase. Put all the heavier things inside. The dress is not really heavy, but it's a lot more spacious than this one. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom so it takes out the space from the other clothes. Here I have put all the dresses. This one on the bottom because it's heavier. Top, I have put this so it doesn't wrinkle as much. And on the other side, I have all the underwear and the bikini. I'm going to add the mini skirts 
and the shorts those t-shirts that i'm actually putting now there is a little bit of a space in the angles so what i'm, what I'm going to do is take this which is from my sunglasses put the sunscreen and those glasses for swimming that were also in my notes i also wanted to give you an update on how many clothes do we have left update on the luggage space we have taken for now only half of the space so we have still half left and also the whole backpack so fingers crossed we should be able to do this always always make sure to use this extra space now I'm going to add here my scarves you can also put some things inside your shoes it's a great thing to put socks inside something that i'm actually trying recently is to roll my clothes as weird as it sounds you take them and then you roll them all together look at that these are six t-shirts these are all the t-shirts here i have the scarves and the things for yoga and i forgot to show you that i'll be bringing my sandals my biggest tip is to travel with your bulkiest clothes checked your notes and i saw that the biggest tip is to travel both with your passport and with your id card and always keep them in two different locations so in case you lose one of them you still have another document i'll be traveling with these jeans and sweater which i think i already put in there which is kind of crazy guys i don't know if you realized when i was showing you what do i have I also always bring instant oats because I get hangry if I don't eat so I always make sure to pack in my backpack always a pack of oats. Another tip is to bring a reusable water bottle in your hand luggage. I usually put it in my backpack and don't bring any water because most probably they will throw it away or like drink it before the security check and after that you can refill it. First of all, you're gonna save so much money because for some reason at the airports they decided that the water should cost like two or three pounds. Like, are you kidding me? It's just water. So yeah, bring this with you. Plus, less plastic. I think I'm very minimal because this is all my cosmetics. I'm going to put it in the backpack on top because I know they're going to check the liquids at the security check. The only handbag that I'll be bringing is this one. I'm going to put all my jewelry inside so it stays safe and again most important thing is to use up all the space you have. The hand luggage is ready. I will start packing the backpack. Here I have all the things that I will need for the flight and that will go into the backpack. These are the clothes left that we have. We actually have only two very light shirts and skirt and the latex pants. So maybe I will have space for them. Let's try to fit all the extra clothes that I had because you know what? Maybe I'm not gonna wear those latex pants. Maybe my parents will hate me, but I don't care. I want them there. Very important, put your cables in a bag because we all know what happens to the headphones here is the backpack i have the computer makeup bottle and here you can see that there's the bag book which i will need for the flight kind of you feel like i harassed my backpack yeah yeah maybe this is it guys we took everything you saw how many things there were on the bed and we literally squeezed every single one of them inside i think this was a success let me show you Ta -da! if you don't trust my tips after this video then i don't know what spoiler alert i still took another flight so i made a video about my traveling experience and traveling during the pandemic so you see this next week Make sure to subscribe and like this video and let me know if you want to see more travel related content or some more tips. Thank you for watching guys. Bye!